Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will be solving three very interesting questions based on Clipper circuit. Let me show you those questions first. What I want is you just try those questions by your own first. Later you can check for the solution in this video itself. So this is first question. You just freeze the video and try solution by your own. This is second question. Freeze the video, try it by your own. And this is third question. I hope you might have tried all those questions. Now I am going to solve first question over here. So in first question you see what is given. This is clipper circuit in which V in that is triangular wave you can observe over here. And we need to find output waveform. So as and when you want to see how output waveform is appearing then you will have to observe how diode is functioning in clipper circuit. So with this diode we have cathode over here and anode over here. See with anode this DC battery is connected and it is having value of 4 volt. So here 4 volt is that we are applying. Now let us see how output is coming with respect to V in with positive half cycle of this triangular view. So in this positive half cycle this V in will be having positive terminal here and negative terminal here. So this positive will appear here, negative will appear here. Now see this cathode is having how much voltage during this positive half cycle 0 to 16 voltage but here with anode 4 voltage is already given. So let me consider first case in which during positive half this V in changes from 0 to 4 volt. So here I am considering 0 to 4 voltage variation right with V in. So cathode is having 0 to 4 voltage, anode is having 4 voltage means this diode is there in forward bias means it is on if it is on then output will be this battery voltage that is 4 voltage so during 0 to 4 output will be 4 voltage over here right output will be 4 voltage here as this diode is on right now what will happen as if v in increases from 4 to 16 so here v in that is greater than 4 voltage right 4 to 16. So cathode is having greater than 4 voltage, anode is having 4 voltage. Means this diode is there in reverse bias, it will be off. If it is off, then V in will appear at output side. So during 4 to 16, output will be like this, you see. Output will be like this during 4 to 16. So output will be similar to input during 4 to 16 as this diode is off. Now what will happen in negative half cycle? So during negative half cycle, during negative half cycle, this terminal is negative with respect to this. So this terminal is positive. Now you see here we have negative terminal and here this positive is getting added with this 4 voltage. So anode is positive with respect to cathode that you can say during negative half cycle. So during negative half cycle this diode is on means this 4 voltage will appear at output. So during negative half cycle output will be 4 voltage constant. You can observe here. So you can say see this much portion of input that we are clipping at output side. Right. That is how functioning is there with this first circuit. I hope you have understood this. Let us have second question solution. So in second question See we are dealing with to filter noise. So here input is having noise right that we need to filter. And for filtration of it we have two diodes D1 and D2 and that is having cut in voltage VREF. So here you can observe two diodes are connected back to back with opposite connection. Opposite means here we have anode, here we have cathode. And this diode is having cathode here and this diode is having anode here right back to back connection is there. See cut in voltage explains what? Cut in voltage explains that as see you give voltage greater than VREF in forward bias then only diode will turn on otherwise diode will be off. So here to make D1 and D2 on we need to give forward bias greater than VREF voltage right. So see VREF voltage 
in between v ref to minus v ref both of these diode will be off why the reason is to have a conduction of diode we have to give forward bias voltage which has to be greater than cut in voltage so in between v ref and minus v ref d1 and d2 both are off as if both are off the output voltage will be zero so in this region output will be zero right in this region output will be zero now if you observe here with this part input is greater than v ref so with this part let us say this is part number one so in this part input is greater than v ref so as if input is greater than v ref that d2 that will be on and that d1 that will be off why the reason is d2 comes in forward bias d1 is there in reverse bias so as if d2 is on output will be input over here due to d2 conduction so here you will be observing output will appear like this right and during this second portion we have voltage at input that is lower than minus v ref right so during that see d2 is there in reverse bias but d1 is there in forward bias and it is conducting so in region 2 d1 will be on so input will appear at output side so input will appear at output side you can observe it will appear like this so output voltage that will be cancelling this noise over here and that cancellation is happening as per cutting voltage of diode which is VREF. So we can cancel noise even, right. Now I am going to explain you third question. So third question that is quite similar as per the explanation which I have given in combinational clipper circuit, right. But here we are solving this with respect to values which is given to us. So here see V in that is sinusoidal waveform that you can observe and D1 and D2 those are diode connected along with batteries over here. So here see this D1 is having anode here and cathode here. Cathode is having plus 5 voltage. This is cathode here and this is anode here. Anode is having minus 8 voltage right. Now let us try to understand how things will be there in positive half cycle of V in. So in positive half cycle of V in, this terminal is positive with respect to this. So positive will appear here, negative will appear here. Now what will happen during 0 to 5 volt? So during 0 to 5, this anode that will be having 0 to 5 voltage and plus to cathode means this diode is there in reverse bias. So D2 will be there in reverse bias. Now we need to focus about D1. So D2 is there in reverse bias means it is off. And D1 is having anode that is 0 to 5. And cathode is 5 voltage means cathode is greater than anode. So this D1 is also off. So D1 and D2 both are off. As if D1 and D2 both are off then this V in that will appear at output. So during 0 to 5 voltage during 0 to 5 voltage input will be appearing at output you can observe here it will appear at output right that is how it will appear at output now what will happen as if v in is greater than 5 voltage means 5 to 12 in positive half so here this is positive half cycle and anode is having voltage which is greater than 5 volt so during this anode is positive with respect to cathode with D1 and D2 is there in reverse bias. So D1 is on, D2 is off. As if D1 is on, then output will be this 5 voltage battery. So output will be 5 voltage over here during positive half cycle with 5 to 12 voltage variation. So here output will be 5 voltage only, right? That is how output will appear. Now what will happen during negative half cycle? So in negative half cycle, in negative half cycle, see this terminal is negative with respect to this. So here negative will appear, here positive will appear. So here, see we are giving negative over here, 
means this d1 is off during negative half cycle so we need to focus about d2 only now in d2 in d2 see anode should be given with greater than 8 voltage then only it will cancel the effect of 8 voltage battery as minus 8 voltage that is appearing at anode till 0 to minus 8 voltage this d2 is also off so 0 to minus 8 voltage 0 to minus 8 voltage d1 is off as well as d2 is off so as if d1 and d2 both are off v in will appear at output so during 0 to minus 8 voltage both are off right here both are off means input will be appearing at output right and see if you apply v in in negative half cycle with greater than minus 8 voltage over here right in that case see here this plus will exits to minus 8 means anode will be greater than cathode means d2 will be on as if d2 is on this minus 8 voltage of battery that will appear at output side so output will be having minus 8 voltage over here like this right so here we are clipping this portion of waveforms that you can say with the use of this clipper circuit right so here see during this portion what we are doing is we are making d1 on right and during this portion we are making d1 on that you can say and during this portion we are making d2 on right and based on that we are clipping this waveforms right otherwise d1 and d2 both are off right otherwise means in this region in this region both are off that is how things are happening and we are clipping waveforms i hope you have understood all those things still if anything i would like to share please note it down in the comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video